right, welcome everyone. I am Gina Ogren. I am the founder of Go Fitness Virtual and we're getting ready to do senior stretch now. So for a senior stretch, like every other class, I like you to have a chair out in front in case you lose your balance. We are gonna do about half the class sitting, half the class standing, but we're gonna start standing with our warm up. So we're gonna do an active uh, warm up where we go through a variety of different stretches as we are um, moving through our exercises, they'll, they'll be stretching motions. And then uh, we will, um, about halfway through, we'll grab our chair, we'll use the chair. Well, I will grab my chair because I'm gonna have mine out of the way. Um, and we'll do some of the stretches with the, the chair as assisting us. And then we'll come around, have a seat, do some additional stretches seated, and then we'll do relaxation. So just have that chair handy, you're gonna need it. All right, I'm gonna slide my chair out of the way though. Okay, with our feet together, we're going to start with them together and we're going to have one arm come forward, one arm come back. And I want you to just start just kind of almost barely bending those knees. See how I'm taking my rear end back a little bit? So I'm still thinking about, sorry, I lifted that up, tuck that tailbone under, bend the knees and just kind of gently move. And then as you go, you can get a little bit lower maybe. Hopefully you can get some more blood flow, kind of loosen that up. Good. And rest. Now we're gonna take a step out. Um, but what I want you to do is cross your opposite arm over. So we're going to come out at a diagonal. The other arm is going to reach out and then I want you to come back to center. So we can be a small step just to start. Okay, step at that diagonal, reach over and back. And then as you go, maybe get a little deeper into that lunge, reach it out. Feel that stretch kind of in the back. Yeah, there you go. Let's go one more time each side. And rest. Now we're gonna take our feet out a little wider. From here, we're gonna use both hands and we're gonna figure eight. So just make that figure eight small if you want. We're gonna go side to side. But you can keep those hands right out in front of you. you can make them a little bit bigger. Can increase that lift those arms that bigger range of motion warms your body up a little bit faster a lot of you had done just got finished with the cardio circuit Ellen walked the dog in between so she hasn't stopped moving so she's probably pretty warm good but if you haven't then this just helps you warm up a little bit more and rest all right now we're going to open up across the chest let those arms come back and now take your palms on the outside of the legs just reach down but you're going out to the side so the stretch you probably feel a little more back maybe your sides you might feel it somewhere else and that's okay maybe your legs who knows you might feel it on your forehead who knows Center it, again, breathe in, open up, just feel that stretch across the chest. You're not really looking up because I don't want you to strain your neck, so just straight ahead is great. And one more time, side to side. Again, maybe you can take it down a little deeper. And 
and center. This time we're gonna take one arm up and over. So you're either gonna take it across. I always show you across first. So you're either gonna take it across or you're gonna take it up and over. And I'm gonna take one and then go to the other side. So I'm coming in a little bit of a squat and then taking it up as I'm reaching. So I'm still warming up my whole body. Just let the arm flow. Just make it nice and easy and gentle. Make sure those feet are still out a ways. the shoulders back. Okay, walk those feet in, shake it out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to bounce on one leg as we work our hips. I think this is just such a good exercise to work. It stretches all, there's so many muscles that attach around our hips, our waist. So when we're doing the circular motions, we're able to get so many of them involved and gently get them stretched out. Okay, so I am going to choose to bounce. If you want to hold on to that chair the whole time, go right ahead. Okay, so I'm going to pick one way. I don't care where you start, just circle one direction. And now take it backwards the other way. And rest. All right, now we're switching the balance leg. Here we go. Circle the other one. Think about how you're feeling those muscles work. If you get tight in the morning, this is a great stretch to help loosen up those hips. And now take it back. You know, when I'm teaching, I want to give you ideas of things for you to do on your own, too. Little exercises that might work better for you. And rest. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the short sample of one of my Go Fitness Virtual fitness classes. I'm Gina Ogren, the founder of GoFitnessVirtual.com. And I'm John Ogren, Gina's husband and sidekick. If you like this sample of Gina's class, we hope you'll visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com where we have over 800 recorded fitness classes designed for active older adults. We also have live classes almost every day. That's right. Just go to gofitnessvirtual.com and click the Get Started button to learn about becoming a member. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope to see you in class. You should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercise demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. If you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. Remember, it's your body and your responsibility. If you like this lesson, come visit us at gofitnessvirtual.com.